Hi, Plusbec plugs into SketchUp, so before you do anything with Plusbec, it's important that you master how to navigate in SketchUp first. SketchUp is true 3D, so when you move in the SketchUp environment, you are moving in three-dimensional space. It's also very important that you have a three-wheeled mouse, so that is a mouse with two buttons, as well as the central wheel. And if you don't, and you have, for example, the out-of-the-box Mac mouse type, then you are definitely going to need to replace it. The reason is that if you don't have a three-button mouse or three-wheel mouse, you're never going to be able to draw and navigate your model simultaneously. And this is essential to the Plusbec workflow. Keep your eye on the image of my mouse on screen. I'm going to show you how to orbit first because you're going to need to do this very often. Simply hold down the wheel in your mouse and you can see that mine has turned green. Now you can simply rotate your mouse and get used to it. The directions will change. You can go obviously to the side, up and down. And if you want to reposition yourself, let go and redo it again. So you're going to be constantly uh, orbiting, letting go, and then reorbiting again to enable yourself to seamlessly uh, maneuver through your model. The next thing that I'm going to show you is how to zoom in and out. And to zoom in, you're simply going to push upward on your wheel, and you can see it on the image of my mouse, as well as the arrow pointing upward, which shows that you're zooming in. If I zoom outward, you just do the opposite. So you're going to be doing all of these th uh, three things simultaneously to navigate and truly understand your design. Although you can design in true 2D orthogonal plan view with Plusbec when you generate our scenes, the majority of our users will eventually end up modeling predominantly in th the 3D environment. And that's because obviously you get complete control over your design. You understand it in three-dimensional form as you're doing it, and it's very powerful. And the SketchUp environment helps you understand where you are in the space by having the three axes, the blue, the green, and the red. I'm going to quickly draw uh, a, a quick shape in Plusbec. So with Plusbec, you only need to worry about the red and the green axes. Uh, we're going to do the blue for you. The reason why you want to be able to draw and navigate at the same time is that there's going to be certain times where you just need to change your angle to be able to better draw. And so having the ability to be drawing whilst orbiting is extremely important. You can constantly realign yourself to understand your design. If you ever feel lost in space, I always refer to the thick or the solid blue line. And because I know that is pointing up, anything below it is down. So if I'm down and I want to get up, just simply navigate and rotate and now I can see that uh, I have better aligned to top view. If you get super lost or you can't zoom in and you're so far out, you can also click on the zoom extents and that will zoom into what you've got in your drawing. Aside from rotating and zooming in and out, you can also use the pan tool and you can set up a shortcut for this. Finally, you can also use the SketchUp camera tools, so going into the standard views and you can align yourself quickly uh, in any of those ways. So for example, going back to top mode. Navigating in SketchUp looks easy, but the quicker you get good at it, the quicker you're going to become very proficient at using Plusbec.